Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hi learners, hope that you are doing good. Welcome back to Manifested e-learning platform. I am Teacher Purity and this is our English lesson. Now, for today's lesson we are going to learn about grammar and under grammar we shall talk about the use of wa. The use of wa. So make sure that you are ready to learn, you are paying attention because at the end of the lesson, I will require you to correctly use wa in a sentence. Now, the use of wa. Wa is used in plural to indicate something that happened in the past. Wa is used in plural form when you are talking about something that happened in the past. So, wa, first it is used in plural. So, why is used in plural form to introduce something that happened in the past, something that happened in the past, but in plural form. And it is used alongside words like you, they, and we. So, it is used with... It is used with you, they, and we. So, it is used with you, they, and we. Now, you, to indicate a second person, you want to talk about another person who did something, then they... You are telling us about other people, maybe who did an activity, and we, it is introducing people that have done something, and you are among those people. However, what can still be used when you are talking about one or more, one person or more than one. For example, you, you can say John and Mary. John is a person and Mary is another person, so they are two. They are more than one. Instead of using they or we, you can decide to mention the names of those people. So, it is used with you, they, and we. And remember, it is used in plural form to introduce something that happened in the past, something that already happened. Now, examples in sentences. Examples. So you can say, you were playing outside. You were playing outside. You were playing outside. Then can have another one. The... They were dancing. They were dancing. Can still have one more example. We were collecting rubbish. We were collecting rubbish. We were collecting rubbish. Now, example one, you were playing outside. You are talking to another person and you are telling him or her what he or she had, she was doing. Now, they were dancing. They were dancing. They represent more than one. And you are talking about other people. They were dancing, giving a report about what other people were doing. Example three, we were collecting rubbish. We to mean that you are among those people who are doing the act of collecting rubbish. You can as well decide to 
say the names of the people who are engaging in activity. For example, you can say, Joan, Joy, and Andrew Joan, Joy, and Andrew were washing utensils. So Joan, Joy, and Andrew were washing utensils. Joan is one person, Joy, another person, and Andrew another person. So these are more than one. Therefore, we shall use wa. Now, always remember that wa is used in plural form to introduce something that happened in the past, something that already happened. Apart from that, it is also used with you to indicate a second person. You are talking about another person. You are going to school. You are singing. Then we have they. They indicates more than one, more than one person. And we is used to indicate more than one person, but you are among those people. We were fetching water, meaning you are part of those people who are fetching water. We were singing on parade, meaning you are also part of the people who were singing. However, you can still, instead of using they and we, you can still use or mention the name of those particular people who are taking part in an activity, like the way we did with number four. Joan, Joy, and Andrew were washing utensils. So that's all for our today's lesson. I will leave you with some work. Make sure that you are answering the questions. And when we meet during our next lesson, we shall go through the work and get to learn more about the use of wa. You have four questions, number one, two, three, and four, and answer them according to the instructions. Now the instruction says use what to fill in the gaps. Use what to fill in the gaps. You are going to fill in the gaps with what from question one up to question number four. Number one, we dash going to school. We dash going to school. Number two, Jen and Joan dash fetching water. Jen and Joan dash fetching water water number three the boys dash cutting down the trees the boys dash cutting down the trees and lastly they dash reading storybooks they dash reading storybooks answer the question and make sure that you are going through your work have a lovely moment